Hello and welcome to Some Grab with Mark Russell. Today we're doing something simple, butternut soup. So the main ingredient is butternut. Uh, I've been making quite a large batch because I like to keep some to freeze and I also leave some in the fridge because it's a wonderful snack or meal to just put in the microwave, heat up and enjoy. So two large butternuts are going in. Uh, I like to put sweet potato in, gives it a bit of a tarty taste. Uh, I'll put four medium to small size of the, those in, you'll peel them and protect them in. I'll have a yellow onion and pepper in um, in the beginning. Uh, about a taste, uh, some garlic will definitely go in, about a tablespoon, about 50 grams of ginger will also go in. I love to put in a bit of, uh, bit of chili, so I've got these pickled jalapenos I'm going to be putting in. I'd also add to the acidity along with some lemon juice. Uh, I'll then be putting two cubes of vegetable stock into 750 milliliters of water, boiling water. Um, and after about six hours in a slow cooker um, or two hours on the stove, you can blend it up and eat it. First things first, we're going to heat up our slow cooker, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're going to heat up our frying pan and add also another two tablespoons of, of coconut oil. You can use any other oil. Then you add your peppers, your onions, your sliced ginger, 50 grams of it, into the, the pan. And you stir on a regular basis. Once it's all in, you then add a tablespoon of garlic. Then on the on the other side on your on your pot you're going to add your two butternuts sliced up, and then your four sweet potatoes sliced up. Then you're going to add your spices: a tablespoon of paprika. Don't worry about sprinkling it. Add two teaspoons of cinnamon. There's one teaspoon. There's a second teaspoon. Don't worry about sprinkling it too much. And then half a teaspoon of cloves. Then I used one tablespoon of lemon brine salt from Marina. Uh, instead of using lemon juice, it's just did the trick the same. Then a tablespoon of ground black pepper, and then I put the 750 milliliters of vegetable stock over. Make sure you wash all the spices down. That's why it's not that essential to to sprinkle all of the the spices. By then, your mixture of onions, peppers, jalapenos, and garlic should be ready, and then transfer it all to the pot, layer it over the top. This gives it a nice smoky flavor. Also that allows the, the peppers and the onions to caramelize a little bit, thus enhancing the flavor. Then once this is all into the pot, you put on the lid and keep it on for six hours. So it's been six hours. I'm going to get going with my blending. I'm going to start with my stick blender very slowly. Just make sure the the big chunks start um, getting getting smashed up, and I'm just going to work my way around the pot, nice and slowly, and it'll be done in minutes. As you can see, it's looking all nice and smooth. It's starting to look like a proper butternut soup. And at this point, it's still a vegan dish, but what we're going to do now is we're going to add some double cream yogurt. You can put it cream, you can put milk, you can put any kind of dairy product. It just makes it a bit smoother and almost a bit richer. But you know, absolutely don't have to add this, but I love it in butternut soup. So, there we go. So as you can see, it's in butternut soup. It's like a, it's thick, it's creamy, it's got that tartiness, that sweet potato really adds just another dimension um, very easy once again I love chili so I always add a bit of chili in some people have a peppery you can add a bit of pepper in you to get less sweetness if you don't like the tartiness you know maybe you don't put the sweet potato in but in my experience when you go with butternut soup you kind of enjoy a bit of sweetness in your soups so obviously the the double cream yogurt that you put in you, you put into taste so don't put in a lot to begin with and because you, you can always add it as like a condiment on the side. If you want it to be more salty, you can always add more salt. It's very flexible. Lots of people, if you have people who like different flavors in their, their soups, you can make it very basic and people can always just add in as they eat. 
Yeah, there's a good bus note soup. Thanks for watching guys. Please give this video a like and a subscribe. Um, it doesn't cost you anything and it really will help me out and we'll see you on the next one.